Question, parent involvement, Lighthouse Education Consultants. Uh, our web address is lighthouseec.com. Copyright 2012, I'm Dr. Brian. I'm here to say uh, uh, hello and a few words on what parent involvement is. And a lot of times we get questions from people who've seen one of our uh, webinars and we spin them into these to help others. So Tina from Brooklyn, New York, sent us an email. She, uh, she picked up our kindergarten success program. And her thing was, how involved should I be in my child's education? And currently, Tina's not very active. Uh, child rides the bus to school. There's nothing in the book bag about school coming back and forth. There's zero contact between her and the teacher and the administrator. So, you, so one of her thing is, she assumes that there's nothing wrong, going on wrong in the classroom. She's never heard from these people. Uh, either the counselors either. Uh, basically, Tina's allowing the school to do everything in regards to her child's education. So they're making decisions that she may want to have change. She may want to be doing something different. So she, when she asked us, we sent her back this email. We kind of listed out some things that she needed to start doing. So our answers were, you need to be very involved. Uh, join the PTA or PTO or parent organization group. They have many different names, but they're all the same thing. It's you, the parent, getting involved, helping that school out. Sometimes you're helping raise money. Sometimes you're volunteering. Sometimes you just chaperone on the, on the field trip, but your child knows you're involved. Uh, make sure you go to all the teacher nights, meet the teacher night, parent-teacher conferences, teacher-administrator parent conferences, whatever the combination would be. Make sure you're there and a part of it. Make sure you know who your teacher uh, of your child is, the administrators, counselors. Uh, and one thing with that, a lot of these people will live in your area. You're not going to just see them at school. You're going to see them in the grocery store, at ball games, at church, different events. Get to know them. Hey, you know, I'm such and such's mother. How's he doing in school? Doing pretty well, doing pretty poorly. Hey, my daughter's in your class. What do you think of it? You're the administrator at my daughter's school. How does she do that? She get in trouble? You see her walking the hall? Something I need to talk to her about? Go on field trips. Spend time in your child's learning environment. Uh, join email groups, and depending on the school, a lot of schools will have email groups for the whole class where they can send emails out, and we readily get emails for our, my son, who's five years old. Hey, we need glue sticks this week, we're on this project, or if you, anybody collects cans, please bring them in, we're gonna do this, that, and the other. Check your child's grades. My child's in kindergarten, and I can readily go in, access his grades at any time. And I know if something's wrong because grades haven't been put in. Or another case, and one of the parents we talked to about two months ago said, hey, something's going on. They haven't put a grade in for my son for four weeks. I said, well, when's enough enough? Do you need to call, call him in contact? And basically she called and contacted him, and it, it was a first-year teacher, and she was overwhelmed. But that shouldn't negate the knowledge you need about your child's education. Um, that's a step, that's a situation where the administrator needs to step in and say, all right, hey, we, here's how you kind of delegate all this. Here's what you're doing. But you should never be surprised by anything academically. Some schools offer websites that teachers update grades regularly. Others will send home progress reports. Sometimes you'll get both. Something's going to happen educationally. Would you rather be there for your child or ignore it? And there's a couple others. We talk about some, and you can go find these videos. It might even be in the related church on the right. But they have academic problems. They'll miss skills. All kinds of stuff. And my son's a perfect example. He could not count 10 to 1. You count 1 to 100. Count 1 to 100 by 10s, by 5s. Not a problem. Um, 10 to 1, he, he couldn't get. What well, took us about three days worth of doing it over and over. And, and we're not beating on him. <laughs> with this and what I mean by that is no more than about 10 minutes each day and we just sit there 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then he'd do it and we work back and forth and he'd miss 7 or miss 6 but we kept going and kept going 4 5 days problem solved skill was there the thing of it is he goes back into school and he can show that skill off that he's done it now he feels good one of his classmates is like hey I just figured out that skill. Or how'd you figure it out? Well, mommy and daddy work with me. And the other kid will say something like, my parents don't work with me at all. That's heartbreaking to me. That's absolutely heartbreaking. Spend time with your child. Get involved in their education. 
So wait, come here. Thanks. Not trying to be the big bowling telling you, you got to work with your kid, but you do. It's your responsibility. School's one place, but you control it at home as well. Look for other Lighthouse products. We have many things. In particular, this one's on kindergarten, but we have stuff on goal setting, time management, study skills, learning how to write, and then some products for college. Please click on the link below and sign up for our email list. In this link, you'll get, once you sign up on it and get on the email list, we're going to give you four free webinars that are on support systems, learning styles, brain games, and brain dump. And you can watch them all a million times, bookmark the page. Uh, good luck in reaching all your educational goals. They're out there. You want the best for you, for your kids. But you got to make sure everybody else is on the same page. I thank you and have a good day.